Okay guys, I've got two of the bikes in the shop being dialed more. Sometimes you get into these things and you ride them a bit, it's okay, ride them a little more, this breaks, that breaks. So that's what's happened to our other Road King and our Ultra. So they're being fixed. I, I hate selling junk bikes. So I prefer to fix them or I prefer to discount them and you fix. So the other two are still in the shop. If I get them back and this, you know, then I'll have this one fixed and its price is gonna go up. So right now, I mean, it runs good, no problem. It does have a rear exhaust leak. It is showing signs that the alternator magnet is going to go out, that the Bendix starter cluster gear is going to go out. They still work. You can ride this bike. Don't get it twisted. It's a good running, rideable motorcycle right now. But you're going to have to address those issues at some point. It is registered in California to August of 25. That's a used motorcycle. It's not immaculate. I didn't detail it. If I raise the price and we service everything, then yeah, I'll get a detail, blah, blah, blah. And right now you can have it for, for $4,000. You fix it. I fix it. I detail it. Price is going to go up to $6,500. Okay. So, it's got about 68,000 miles on it. Sometimes this thing shows, sometimes it doesn't. It's got a new battery. Hopefully the battery's still charged. The rear exhaust leak. Got a little grindy grindy on the start on the starter. That's the Bendix gear starting to go out. But as you saw, it still starts the bike. It's not gone out yet. It's going to go out. There's a difference.
Hear that little clunk? That's the magnet. Now, how do I know that? Well, if you remember back, or February-ish or so, I had a 2003 Fat Boy with 12,000 miles on it. It was brand Falcon new condition, and the magnet was doing exactly that. We put a new magnet in it, problem solved. So, still charging, still running, has a rear exhaust leak. I would service the primary chain. I would do a inspection on the timing cover just to make sure everything's copacetic. It is a twin cam. Now this is the first year of the option of the 103. Now, I did a little research. The police bikes were optional 103 in 2007. So this bike was either a police bike has the police bike rails, yes it does, or it was ordered for the police and then they never picked it up. Now which it is, we'll never know. But it was intended for police use. That's how you got the 103 in 2007. So it's got those cool dual Vance and Heinz exhaust, that's, and they're true duals too. That's a $2,500 option. Got the seat, the backrest, got the tow hitch, got the bars, the chubby bars with all the right lines. So that's a good $1,000 right there. It's got the different front crash bar that was put on, the handlebar grips, the foot, foot pegs. All that stuff is big money. You can change it up and around. So if you like the extras, that's stuff you don't gotta do. It does have an air ride, which I've never tried because if it breaks, then I gotta fix it. So I've never touched it. Until you touch it, you follow? So right now it's fine. So the front tire is still good. And front pad, brake pads look pretty decent. Come over here. Have yeah, we'll a look down here. Her tire's still okay. And it's got that air ride crap, so I can't see what the rear brake pads look like. You gotta pull all this shit off. But it's not squeaking or nothing, but I would definitely give it an inspection. Just because, why is that? It's a used motorcycle. That way you know. So, right now, 4,000 bucks. Come and get it. It's all you. It's only four grand. Yeah, you're gonna put some money in it. That's the world of used motorcycles. That way it's right just for you. But, you know, I mean, if I was gonna say, hey, I'm gonna hop on this and go to Frisco right now, wouldn't have a problem with it. Not a problem. I just know that somewhere between A and B, I'm gonna have to do all that stuff. You follow? Don't have to be done tomorrow but you're gonna to have to do it soon. See you guys.